Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jocelyn and for today's topic, I'm going to provide you the requirement of e-travel registration when going to Philippines. There are a lot of changes when registering for e-travel and I'm going to show you in this video the better way of registering for e-travel. Please take note that e-travel registration is required of all passengers. And also for departing Filipino passengers, e-travel registration will still be required. Also, please remember that the registration is free of charge. Also, you must be aware that there are websites posing as an official website for e-travel. So make sure that you don't register in any of these scam websites where they also take your payments and also you must submit information of your passport so make sure that you don't register in this scam websites now who can register for e-travel all passengers whether filipino or non-filipino must register for e-travel and here is a copy of the barcode once you have successfully registered in your name and you must do it within 72 hours of your departure so there are actually two ways one way is to download the app to register for e-travel i'm just going to show you how to register using the mobile app so in my opinion i wouldn't recommend using the app because it is more difficult to navigate there are several passcodes and you must also enter your mpin twice to even register and once you get to the dashboard you must select travel and there are several icons and you might get confused of tapping the right icon so i'm going to show you how i have encountered that difficulty of taking a picture of myself because the the camera keeps moving or giving me several directions and it wouldn't capture a picture of myself within just a few minutes so it took me like around five minutes to even just move around follow following directions and i haven't successfully uploaded a picture of myself a much better way of registering is to just use a browser and type in etravel.gov.ph make sure that you have all the necessary information such as your flight information or your itinerary and also your passport information also remember e-travel is free of charge if you have already created an account you can just enter your login information such as your email address and password the first section is the onboarding or the personal information where you must provide your personal details such as your passport information your name your contact information, your country of birth, your citizenship, and also your passport. You must also upload a photo or upload a file. So this is just an example. This is not my official travel information. So I'm just showing to you how it's done. The second section is the permanent country of residence or just your residence outside of the Philippines. Make sure that you provide accurate information. And then the last section is your onboarding summary. Make sure that you double check all of the personal information and then click submit. Now let's move on to the travel registration. You can do this for yourself or for other individuals such as a family member so it's defaulted to for me or the current user and also as an air passenger and then click on arrival and hit continue now the new travel declaration will provide the purpose of your travel the traveler type and then the destination upon arrival in the philippines you have three options for destination either your residence your hotel or if you are transiting via a different airport in the philippines 
If you are entering the hotel or the resort name, just type in the name of the hotel and it will automatically populate the information. And then provide your flight information such as the name of the airline and then the flight number. And then once you have provided all of this information, you can now enter the country of origin. Make sure that you provide only accurate information in the travel declaration section. If you have a connecting flight, just put a check mark on the question with transit or connecting flight and then indicate the country of transit, the airport of transit and the date of transit and also the destination, the airport of destination and then the date of arrival. Once you have provided all of this information, you can now click next. For this section, you must indicate your health declaration, the countries you have visited in the last 30 days, and also if you have any exposure to a person who was sick or known to have communicable infectious disease in the past 30 days, and indicate if you have also been sick in the past 30 days. And then we can now proceed to the Philippine Customs Declaration, which is already linked to the e-travel registration. Make sure that you read all of this information regarding the baggage declaration, the currency, the tax exemption, and then the failure to declare any of the, of the goods. There, there is also a general declaration regarding currency, such as Philippine currency, foreign currency, and other personal items that you must also declare if they are in excess of quantities or if they can be considered as quantities for personal use or for commercial use. For the currency declaration, there is now a more restrictive policy when you are going to bring currencies in excess of 10,000 US dollars or equivalent amount in other currencies. So make sure that you double check all of the information and make sure that you know that you are also entitled to a certain value of the goods without paying any duties and taxes. Also, all Filipino citizens are entitled to a duty and tax exemption for personal effects and the amount is not to exceed 150,000 pesos within a calendar year. And then the requirement is that the goods should not be in commercial quantities or intended for barter sale or hire. So there's also a penalty for failure to declare any dutable goods that are subject to tax. Once you have read and understood all of this information, you can now proceed to enter the specific items if there are items that you needed to declare. Let's move on to the other travel details. If you are being accompanied by other family members, you must also indicate how many are with you. For example, if you have children or minors below 18 years of age and also other passengers 18 years and above and also you must indicate the number of baggage for general declaration these are the specific items that you need to declare if you are going to bring currencies such as philippine peso or us dollars you must also indicate that as well for philippine currency the amount that should be declared is more than 50000 pesos and then for foreign currency, you can only declare if the amount is in excess of 10,000 US dollars. If less than that, you don't have to declare. Also other items are gambling paraphernalia. If you have other items, you must also secure an import clearance. Cosmetics must not be in excess of quantities for personal use. And then for dangerous drugs, you must also indicate if you're going to bring them. Please take note dangerous drugs are not legal in the philippines also if you're going to bring firearms and ammunitions alcohol and other food items 
and if you have anything to declare just click on add item and then provide a description for example if you are going to bring a package meat product such as ham and also if you have other items such as vegetable or fruit seeds and also if you have other food items you can also indicate it in the description so some viewers they are planning to bring like packaged meat and packaged cheese and then just indicate the quantity and then the amount in US dollars next mobile phones and other similar gadgets in excess of quantities for personal use the magic word is in excess of quantities if they are for personal use you don't have to declare it next item cremains if you have other items that you're going to bring such as human ashes you must also provide a declaration next item jewelry gold precious metals or gems in this section you must indicate the description so if you have several items so if even if they are for personal use you must also declare all of your jewelry and other precious metals for example if you're going to bring diamond ring gold earrings necklace you must also indicate the quantity and then also the amount in us dollars and then click add now we are almost done if you have other goods that are not mentioned above you must also indicate for example fishing paraphernalia to the philippines you must also indicate the description the quantity and then the amount in us dollars and also other items that you needed or wanted to bring to the philippines and then click on next once you have submitted all the information you will also generate the e-travel registration barcode and it will also indicate if you are going to have a baggage declaration or a currency declaration in my example i have a baggage declaration which is indicated in green letters and then also if i don't have any currency it will indicate without currency declaration if you have any other questions or comments please post them down below and i will get back to you as soon as i can again thank you guys for supporting my channel and if you haven't liked this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit that notification bell i always welcome new subscribers thank you guys for watching i hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day